In this video, we're gonna talk about Twitch being framed and Twitch uncovers a sinister plot. Alrighty then, this is a comic book review of Sam and Twitch Case Files, issue number six, brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. So previously in Sam and Twitch, after a meeting at the diner that Twitch has, he realizes that he's been set up to take the fall, but there's only one thing that he can do. So before we go forward, we gotta go back like chiropract over here. So we see Sam finally, a few issues later that we finally need to see, he's playing the words that were played back that he's been received so harshly. Like he doesn't give a damn about his partner, that people are tired of his selfishness. Look, you want to remain a police force and act like an adult, act like a detective instead of some hothead. So he's replaying all that in his head that was said to him and he's obsessed, loner, loser, horrible diet, takes a deuce and the Mets lose. It's just all playing back in his head. But you know what? It's almost like that is a point of character growth for him, or at least it's gonna pivot to that. That's the impression that I'm getting here. So in Plainfield, Iowa, Twitch is sitting in his hotel, looking to see how in the heck did it happen that his gun got lifted. And he realized the hug that the chief of police gave him, he lifted it, and Twitch realizes it. Detective Relis gives him a call, and Twitch just looks at the phone, and you know something's about to go down. And this panel right here, where Twitch is in the hotel room, just overlooking in his head, thinking in his head, what's the next play over here after Detective Relis calls him? You know there's some foreshadowing that he's got to wait for the shoe to drop or something. So his hotel phone rings, he answers it, and it's Detective Trestle, and he tells him we have another situation that we can use you at the scene, and this is going back to issue number five. So Twitch gets there, he asks where Jim is at, and Trestle tells him he's in the basement, but you need to take a look at the den first. What happened? We don't know yet. He sees Lansky's dead body with the note, I'm sorry, but the note was different before, but we'll get back to that. And Twitch is like, I saw a picture of this guy. Isn't he one of yours? Yeah, he's Officer Lansky. I thought he moved away, says Twitch. So did we, but something went wrong with him. You think he killed himself, said Twitch. He's going into detective mode. I don't freaking know. This is all crazy. But there's more you need to see, says Detective Trestle. He goes downstairs into the basement. We see Officer Lansky's girlfriend and her play thing. But they can't be doing no more playing like that. And they ain't playing dead. They're dead for real. So Twitch is like, I don't know who they are. Who are they? The female was Lansky's girlfriend. Don't know about the male. You knew Lansky, says Twitch. You think he could do this? Killed them both, then himself? Upstairs, someone enters the room. We're gonna go back to that. And Trestle's like, he's not the man I knew. He was kind, happy, but not near the end. Before he quit, he seemed frustrated at something. Or someone, says Twitch. And we see this really suspicious looking glove over here. We don't know what that's all about, but we're gonna find that out, hopefully. So Twitch is like, look, I'm not here trying to say this is her fault, but Lancey's girlfriend here, she was pretty well known, and not in a good way. She was always drunk and ranting about some crazy conspiracy or some shit like that. I think that's why Lansky left, to get away from her. Then why would he come back, says Detective Trestle. Maybe she was hassling, blackmailing him, I don't know, I'll check the phone records. Then she filed some kind of police report about him in the past, says Twitch. She did, but like I said, she was always paranoid about something. And he and Twitch has a flashback with Lance, his girlfriend, going back a few issues back. He disappeared, gone, and no one wants to do a damn thing about it, especially his own unit. And we see footprints and another guy walking in. And then Twitch is like, okay, let me put this together. Something doesn't seem right, though. His hand, it's severed, like the body's out in the farm. Does that strike you as odd? And if he was left-handed, it'd be too hard to shoot and write with no hand, even if he wasn't. No good deed. And Twitch goes into it even further. This doesn't explain the dirt on his body or decomposition. And if Lansky was moved here by the same killer, why would he then start shooting his victims? He hadn't done that before. And why the fuck aren't you asking these questions unless you don't want to know the answers? This is where it's all messed up. And where the heck is my gun? Something corrupt is going on here and you are all under arrest. And I am not bull jiving. And Detective Trestle claps and it's like, bravo. It's a weird kind of like change up. Like, what are they doing over here? Are they setting him up? Do they need him for something? Or they just want to take Twitch out the picture. So Detective Trish is like, look, you're from New York, so you know how this works. Sometimes it's better that the public doesn't know things. And Twitch is like, look, I don't work that way. That's too bad, Twitch, because we're hoping that you'll be part of the team, hoping that you'll help us clean up our city. Isn't that what we all want? He's right, says the chief. 
this whole serial killer thing has gotten everyone on edge. So how did Lansky get in here before we even knew a damn thing? But if this city thinks on any level some cop is running around killing folks, then that ruins all the hard work that everyone put into this. Twitch knows that. But the other people are like, doesn't that mean he deserved what happened to him? No, it does not. But we all got a real sick bastard and a serial killer on our hands, and we need to find him. Where's my gun, says Twitch. Relax. It's right here. It was easy to lift. You're not as good as you think. Letting Twitch know that he wasn't exactly paying attention. So they give Twitch his gun back, and Detective Relis is like, hey, sorry about that, but my boys can be a bit overzealous at times. Let's just see if we can all sort this thing out. So they wonder if Detective Relis can convince Twitch to help him out. And they hope so because they got something in their back pocket to do that. So Trust was like, we all want the same damn thing here, Twitch, to protect this town as much as we can. And at what cost is Twitch? We don't get to play God around here. We follow rules, especially when there's three fresh bodies you're not supposed to. Wait a minute. Hold up. Someone was here. Twitch sees the footprints. Someone's in this house. Who the heck are you talking about? The last note on Lasky's chest. Look at it. And it's changed from I'm sorry to no good deed. The killer, he was here and he still may be in here. So Jim Trust was like, Tobias, Relis, get up here now, sweep outside, do your thing. We got a killer and we got a killer on property here. So Trish is like, all this and why did you need me? And Trust was like, you know why, because you're brilliant and I don't have someone like you on my staff and I wish to God that I did. So even though they got a killer on, on the land right now, on premise, now you guys wanna have a buddy buddy moment, but it is very tense right now, very odd. We don't know what's happening. I mean, you got a killer on property, Twitch is over here getting framed and these guys need his help, but they have a very funny way of asking it. So Trim Trust was like, if you really wanna know the truth, I'm exhausted. I'm giving everything to protect this community, but instead of making it more peaceful or safer, I have to deal with all this crazy stuff, man. So yes, I need your help and I need your brains. And Twitch is like, I wish I could believe that, but I can't. Oh, sorry to hear that, says Jim. Ping, a text message comes through and it's Twitch's wife. She's pissed. Like, this is what I get, putting your family on the back burner all these years. F you. And what about Sam? So Twitch is dealing with the mess right now. And Twitch is wondering, what did you do? And Jim Tress was like, I'm sorry, but I did what I had to do. And he shows that compromising photo of Twitch and Lasky's girlfriend. Colin got a couple issues where all she did was give him a hug. But this looks like a very compromising position, especially with no context. The missus ain't going to be happy about that. And even though it, it, it is just weird, but I mean, you do get a sense of danger. You do get a sense of this brother being compromised. And also, Twitch wasn't going to help because all this messed up stuff was happening now. But now that he's caught in a compromising position, he can't exactly go home. So how is all this going to play out? And where does Sam fall into the picture of all this? But with all that being said, that is the end of Sam and Twitch Case Files issue number six what you guys think of the comic book comment below let me know also link in description if you wish to add this comic book and or any of our other limited print rated comic exclusives to add to your comic book collection support the art support the industry with all that being said thank you again for watching until next time